Hello everybody, Shift again with another Geometry Arena run. Today I'm gonna do the Sniper. So specialist in static defense and gets stat bonuses when aiming. HP, movement speed, a lot of movement speed, fire rate less, bullet damage a lot, range high, bullet size high, critical effect high, accuracy low and knockback very high, and the pacifist state skill. Let's first of all upgrade everything here real quick as we have the money. And uh, if need be, we're gonna gather it up again because now we know what we're doing. If you want to gain a bunch of stars in this, let's go up to 25, I would say. If you want to get a bunch of stars in this game, just go into Wonder Mode or Endless Mode. I think Wonder Mode with um, not overstating like I did is pretty good. And uh, let's go again for the crit rate plus crit effect rune. So right now I have a 100% crit rate from the color and from the talents. And this is the talent, right? Yeah. Crit effect is a bunch, crit effect 532%, so whenever I crit I should be destroying enemies. Aim. Press and hold the skill button to enter aiming state. You can't move during aiming state, but accuracy is 1000% higher. Recoil is 0, critical effect is 200% higher. When aiming you will enter the bullet time, will action all action speed of enemies. It's gonna be times 36, and the motion to you and your bullets will not be affected by it. Let's, uh, let's also make the enemies be faster then, let's get into faster world, accelerated world, so everything's gonna be faster, more stars from that. Um, and I also have chosen for arena so that the enemies will become bigger the higher damage they take. And also triple life on elites and triple, on triple fight on bosses and double on elites. And more enemies, plus I have less invincibility time, let's see how this goes, I will go into normal mode, as I don't think. Sniper is a good idea for an endless, but let's see. Let's have auto fire on. Okay, this is without aiming. This is with aiming. Okay, aiming just locks us down, but uh, makes our accuracy be a thousand percent and also makes uh, critical effect be a lot higher. And enemies should also be slowed down, as I understand it. Let's start at maybe. Okay, first of all. First of all, I would like to see, let's give up a second, I would like to see if at difficulty max, at max difficulty it's gonna be really hard, and if it is I'm gonna instantly stop it. Uh, where is this? Okay, it does not seem to be that harder. So enemies are extremely slow right now because I'm aiming, the moment I stop aiming everything flies. You see this? I can control the time of the game. Yeah, I like this. I like this. See enemies flying slowly towards me. And the moment I leave that button off, enemies start going at normal speeds again. Let's get rid of the mass. I get rid of the mass. I like I like this. I like this playstyle. So every time I'm aiming, the time slows down. Otherwise, everything is completely normal and actually faster than it should be <laughs> because I'm playing at accelerated world. This is fun. The this is uh, this is nice actually. It's not that it's fun. I mean it is fun, but uh oh, in one hit I'm down. Well, if I'm gonna go down, I'm just gonna remove the. No, the only thing I have to remove, honestly, let's get the buff. The only thing that I have to remove is the max level stage. So I okay, obviously up here next to me can't do anything about that. Let's let's drop the max stage. Come on, come on. Let's do this again, but without the max stage. And uh, let's start like half a stage lower, because we were at max. That means we can definitely go at S. If, if we almost beat max instantly, then I definitely can beat S. Yeah, every non-elite is getting one shot here. I need to get out of this corner, to be honest. Yeah, I definitely need to get out of this corner, but as long as I'm keeping my bullet time on, I can survive. Nice. This is a spawner? I still don't know what the spawner is and what not. Not what the spawner is, which units are spawners and which not. That's what I tried to say. Okay, as you saw, S was actually easy. So let's go into the store. Now we should be able to get, <laughs> imagine. Uh, max HP, power sort of move towards you. Not really that good. Let's take this. We could try it. Let's get the free reroll. I don't like any of those. Range, critical rate, and accuracy. Yes. Knockback. Not really that good. 
bullet damage and bullet size at 60%. Nice. Fire rate. And uh, when you're full, you do a bunch more damage. I want to buy this. Let's lock down and let's go to the next one. When I'm full, I'm doing 300% more damage. I think is actually a good upgrade. This guy is actually a spawner. This is a splitter. Still one-shotting everything. I got used to this 100% on every enemy. Is it weird? Do you guys prefer without the 100% on every enemy? It's pretty, it's pretty useful, I think. Let's go store. Let's buy the one I wanted. Let's reroll. Let's unlock. Every time you activate the power-up, leave and mines behind. Eh, gradually bullet change to bullet size. Bullets, bullet damage. Let's buy both and let's uh, let's get the free reroll, to be honest. Let's actually also upgrade the level by one, as now I should be doing a bunch more damage. Okay, let's... First of all, I need to keep myself out of life. Okay, I just lost life, so my damage is done. It's gone. Enemy spawn onto me is also a very bad sign. I have two life left. Keep everybody at bay, please. I try to defeat small enemies while also defeating the small... Oh, ho, 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 grenade rain. Love that. Love that. Love that. That's really cool. Let's see. Max HP, bigger, but no. Bullet damage, yes. Bullet size, but less accuracy. Grenades will double your effect on the first bounce. Uh, I mean, I have almost 100% accuracy when I'm targeting, so who cares? I'm not gonna pick this up. Let's reroll. Shield capacity, nice. Bullet damage and crit rate. Yes, bullets will randomly change direction, 140%. This is really bad. For my run, at least. So, refresh. Supercharge. Yeah, charging happens faster. I'm gonna lock this thing down. Crit rate, for sure. Lock this thing down. I want this. Let's go. Whoops, enemies are rushing towards me. No, 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 no. Everybody stay away, please. I have a very high amount of damage as long as I'm not getting damaged. Please do not. Oh, okay, he spawned onto me. He spawned into me. Wait, I'm still at full. Because I have shields. Yeah. Still doing extremely high amounts of damage. Just realized. Randomly shooting bullets when I'm not targeting. Nice and clean. Let's go to the store, buy this thing. We roll. Burst. When you destroy an enemy, generate an explosion in its position. Perfect. Wheel of Fortune, obviously not. Fire rate. Reverse knockback. Imagine that. I'm not going for the wheel of wheel of randomness. Wheel of randomly losing. Is that what that's what it is? I like that the enemies become bigger when I attack them. I also like that everything's going extremely slow as long as I'm targeting. This is the boss, right? I prefer to not move. And uh, get the... Fr yeah, because when I'm not moving, time is slowed down. So I have more time to destroy the enemies. And also when I'm not moving, I do more damage. So everything points towards not moving at all. More damage means destroy the enemies faster, and the universe being slower means more defense. Uh, bullets will gain 300 damage, and not at 75%, but even less because I have that other upgrade. Now we defeat the boss, generate mines, eh, knockback, yes I'll knockback, let's reroll. And moving, body size becomes bigger, what a bad choice. Bullet speed and accuracy, I don't need any of those. More range though, less recoil, it's also useless, all of them are useless. More crit, stronger crit, blah blah blah, yes. Missiles with track aiming, bullet speed. Turn accordingly with maximum offense. Uh, bullet damage, fire rate, but less accuracy. Perfect. Let's also buy this, why not? Nice, now we're destroying everybody really quickly. Yeah, I think we are uh, ready for the next upgrade. The next level. I should try to get into a corner if possible. Where are you going? Should try to go. That was it? Okay, definitely going up a challenge level. 
HP, movement speed, body size. Uh, HP is nice. Let's get the HP, to be honest. Missile range. Bullet damage, less range. I would say yes. Bullet damage, less bullet size. Whenever you hit an enemy with a bullet, a missile chance to fire a missile. Yes. Let's not reroll. Let's level up the challenge level. Let's maybe get in the corner. Let's go. Actually, the corner is not a good idea. If an elite spawns in the corner, I'm toast. I have to destroy anything that spawns in my corner. Otherwise, I have a pretty big range. I'm not afraid. Let's go store. Fire rate up. Recoil down. Useless. Range and accuracy. I would say yes. I don't care about recoil. Bullet speed and range. Yes. Bullet speed and recoil. No. Bullet damage. Range and crit rate. Yes. Crit rate. Uh, some of these numbers are so high right now. Yep. One of each. But this size one speed fire rate. I would say yes. Whenever you defeat a boss generate mines, I will say no. Yeah, the boss is only appearing once in a blue moon, so let's go and level up. Should still be doable. Yep, still one-shotting everything. Would be nice if I had some kind of healing, because right now I do not have any kind of healing. I like that sometimes I have bullets and you can see like, when, when, the, when the bullets like s turn, it means that they're missiles. Let's go into the store. Blue pill to go down a level. No, two random legendaries. Max HP for less fire rate. Uh, yes, 8 is a lot. Bullet damage for range. Double the size of explosion damage of mines. I might as well. I gain also bullet damage. Keep bullet damage, less range, etc. etc. Yes, reroll. Wait random purple in every finish attack phase. Mm, might as well. And also, let's go for this. Recoil is not really a thing. Body size, movement speed, or mines expand. Oh, I don't really care about mines expanding. Let's also go up a difficulty level again. Let's hope we're not gonna overdo it. Oh, we are close to overdoing it. Yep, elites already don't get one shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's not go higher. Let's not go any higher. Uh, unless we get like double damage. The double-edged sword, I think, was the name. I will not go higher. Let's get into the corner and let's be done with this room. Yep, this is a win. Next. Let's go to the store. Fire rate, obviously. Bullets will gradually change for bullet damage and speed. Yes, I don't care about this. This is just gonna give us downsides. Refresh. Bullet damage and crit. Yes, every time you lose HP, you move slower, but 6 HP for that. I would say yes, I don't even care about moving. This is actually a lot better. Reroll. Fire rate, fire rate bullet size, whenever you hit a boss with a bullet missile, change to fire missile, yes, and yes. That's gonna be it. We got a bunch of stats. We should be a lot stronger right now. Yep, we are a lot stronger right now. Is that a boss? Was that a boss? Yes, it was a boss. Wow. We are really strong. Maybe we can go up a level. Maybe we can go up a level. How much is this going to change? Five times the same HP. Enemies are going to gain five times more HP. Hmm. HP, fire rate, bullet damage, less accuracy. Yes, destroy three anomaly enemies when you defeat an elite. Yes, reroll. Watch when you're not moving, gain stats, crit, and uh, bullet damage and bullet size for accuracy. Yes, let's, let's go up a challenge level. I think we got a bunch of damage related things right now. Okay. This is really dangerous. I see enemies are no longer getting destroyed. Okay, we are sticking to this difficulty now for a bit. Until we decide again to change. So, this is a good challenge level for us right now. Bullets gain, bullet speed, less size though. No bullet damage for range and crit. Yes. Every time a bullet rebounds, it's bullet damage 20% and bullet speed 40%. Wow, this is awesome. Although, I right, right now I don't have any rebounding. Would be nice to get some though. HP for movement speed. If your mind isn't triggered in 9 seconds, no. Range of grenades. Who cares? Only leads and bosses can detonate mines while normal enemies will no longer be able to. Oh. Well, if you do that, then yes. Let's, uh, let's get some mine-related things. Range of grenades. Let's go. Let's maybe get some grenades and mines, etc. in this. This, uh, we pretty much did not get a single upgrade right now. 
I have so much pushback power that almost nothing can touch us as long as I'm keeping everything at bay. And when an elite explodes, it also takes with him everything. So this is pretty good right now. We are pretty good. No, no, not challenge level. Let's go with this. Another one of those packets. I know I didn't lock it down. Knockback for more recoil. Recoil is not a thing. Let's get the knockback. Bullets will gradually change to less speed. No. Time bomb. Mines deal detonate at the end of the attack phase. But detonate. Okay. Bullet damage higher. Fire rate less. Hmm. Fire rate higher every time you miss. Yeah, let's go for this. Random bullets. Bullets will randomly change directions, but get more range. I would say no. Whoop. Oh, whoop. I like that recoil gets like disabled. The pushback gets disabled the moment I stop. I I activate the power. I have so much pushback. I'm keeping everybody at bay. And then they explode and everything explodes with them. Nice. Really nice. Get there in the corner. Get to the corner. Nice. Store. Arsenal. Every time you activate power, leave mines. Again, every time you activate power, peel one. This is nicer. Fire rate, less recoil, less wound speed. Yes, and yes. Let's reroll. We have so much money. Accuracy. If your HP is equal, less power will be generated. Might as well. Damage accuracy for more recoil. Who cares? I know recoil is bad, but yeah, I know it's bad right now, but who cares, honestly? Because I can lock my position down. And uh, I don't even get affected by recoil. Where do you guys think you're going? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Get to the corner. Get to the corner, please. <laughs> and also when an enemy gets defeated, he explodes and takes everything with him. So let's go to the store. Maybe we should upgrade bullet damage for even more knock less knockback bullets. will gradually change for bullet speed. Who cares? Then we can fit the boss heal a bunch. Uh, a nice amount of money to pay for that. Recoil. Less recoil. Yes, for less... Mm, enemies defeated, the elite gives you healing, range, but bullet damage and crit rate. Yes. Uh, you know what? Let's go up challenge level. Go fight. I decided to do that at the boss stage. I'm smart. Stay away from me, please. Trying to keep everybody at bay. I lost HP. That means I lose damage. Let's get some healing here. Lost HP again. Losing HP means losing damage. Not a crazy amount, but a pretty big one. I mean, it's about 180% or something, but um, it sound might like it. It might sound like a big amount, but when your uh, weapon does already like 1,000% more damage, and that was it. I'm also full because I defeated some elites and some others, so... At this 180% damage, but my bullet damage is plus 900% or something, so... Took a mine by mistake. Store, blue pill, no, bullet, speed and accuracy, mm, useless. Bullet damage for fire rate, I would say yes. Let's reroll. Actually, let's buy the useless upgrade. Let's reroll. Maybe I should not buy. A chance to be free, yes. Movement speed and less recoil. Less recoil is actually something I want. No more find, don't find common anymore. Yeah, let's go with you don't find common anymore. Although that's not always the best decision, to be honest. Not finding, not being able to find commons, as a lot of commons are like 20% damage, etc, etc. Explode that corner, explode maybe that corner. Yeah, whenever I defeat an elite, it explodes into destroying everybody around it. So the, the elites are pretty much mine minefields at this point. Let's go to the store. Fire rate. I thought I cannot longer find commons. Well, whatever game. Whatever game. Body size. Let's get a bit bigger for 2 HP. No. When you have 1 HP left, gain a bunch of stats. Might as well. Less recoil. It's free. Fire rate. More recoil. Reverse the direction of recoil. Hmm. Nah. I don't want to be flanked towards my enemies. If anything, I would like them to get... I would like to get away from them. When I shoot. Okay, where do you think you're going? Where do you guys think you're going? Explosion. Explosion. Yep, I really like that. I close them in the corner and then they explode. Look at this, the, the bottom left is like... Yellow. Got released into the world. Okay, I think I'm powerful enough to go to the next level. I mean, we're almost done with this. Arsenal. Leave mines, recoil, knockback, crit effect. Let's get the arsenal to reroll. 
Maybe we find something free. Range and crit rate. Bullet damage, crit rate. Crit rate is maxed out, right? Yeah, I don't need to get crit rate anymore. Accuracy, bullet damage, bullet size for accuracy. Bullet damage, bullet size. Let's also get the accuracy. It was free. Let's get the reroll. Maybe we get something free here. Emulation, no range and rate. Fire rate. I don't care about range. I uh, might as well buy it. And uh, yeah, look at this. When I shoot randomly, where am I shooting? Accuracy is like through the gutter. My accuracy is at 0%. Otherwise, yeah, we are at negative 16. <laughs> Let's go challenge level up. We are right before the ending of this, so might as well have some fun. I mean, if it takes a bit more to go through this. Oh, it takes... Oh, it takes a bit more. That was a mistake. As always, that was a mistake. Although the explosions are actually helping out, so... Yeah, it wasn't a huge mistake, but it was a small one. It's not like it's gonna take us ages, but it's gonna take us a minute. It's gonna take us a lot of time, actually. Not a minute. Yep, the explosions happened. And after the some explosions happen, don't don't you come near me. Trying to explode some enemies here. I'm still completely full life. I just lost my first HP. You know, the moment I spoke, something happened. That is the opposite of what I just said. It's a classic. It's a classic. Maybe I should go and pick up some... Whoa. I definitely cannot move from my position. I wanted to pick up some of the items at the bottom right. But um, the moment I leave off my targeting, every everything moves so fast. It's really dangerous to try to move. Okay, I think we won. Yeah, we did actually win. And two more enemies. Two more uh, difficulties are done. Two more stages. Why? 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 I hate it. Doubles the number of power ups generated. Might as well. Um, get more recoil, but this bullet size is going to be bigger. No, I just in recoil. Let's go. Buy rate and knockback. Reverse the direction of knockback. No bullet damage, but I lose life. No shield capacity every time you activate the power up. Gain shield. Yes. We roll. Now we take damage, fire grenade towards a random enemy. No. Bullet damage, range, crit effect. I love this. This is also nice. This is bad. It's not bad, but I don't care about it. Let's go to the next fight. Two fights to go. Two fights to go. Can I keep everybody at bay? I would like to get into a corner. I need to get into a corner to keep everybody at bay. But if I get into a corner too early, I will. Uh, enemies will spawn onto me, so... I got hit for a bit. I got hit for a bit again. Let's uh, let's take this upgrade. What is this? I don't even know what that was. Well, regardless, I healed a bunch and the stage got destroyed, so... Triple everything! Woohoo! Wow, I got so powerful. For half a second, just from the... Yeah, this is the last stage, right? I'm pretty sure this is the last stage. Elite grenade, whenever you defeat fire grenade, balloon bullet, bullets instantly change to more damage. That's what I care about. That is what I care about. And that's gonna be it. Wait, was the other one maybe free? Could have been. Could have been. Let's go fight. Let's get into a corner. Actually, it's not a good idea to get into a corner. I, I want to try to get that passive over there. Let's get some... I tried to get that triple bullet to clear out the area. Come on, I can do it. Got it. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, everybody's dead. Ooh, and that was it. <laughs> it was awesome. Oh, bosses, boss have arrived. And he's gonna become huge and he exploded. Look at this. I can control my power. I can make my bullets go around. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm really powerful. Yep, and we won. So we got half a million from that and 22 geometry coins. So let's go back to the menu. As you can see, the sniper is proficiency level 1, while the tornado is proficiency level 2. So going into endless modes is gonna level up your units better and faster. But other than that, what are you gonna do? Now I have the unlocked the magician. Look at this weird thing. Is someone there? Ooh, is it like 
the Zelda summoner or what's happening? And the shotgun. Most likely next fight is going to be the shotgun. And uh, after that we will see. Wait, why does this guy cost 3000 to upgrade his skill level while this guy 2k? It doesn't really matter to be honest. I'm going to unlock everything and play everything. Uh, so yeah, I'm still expecting some comments about if you would like to see more normal mode or more wanderer mode. I don't think endless mode is a good idea. So um, yeah, geometry coins one times 120. Anyway, that's uh, that's gonna be it though. So hopefully everybody was okay with that. Let's go back so that my patrons are more visible. And um, yeah, if you like the video, drop a like, help out the channel, and if you'd like to support me even more, patrons always there. I will, uh, I will maybe not say that on every video. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So yeah, uh, would really like about to hear about if you would prefer some normal run or a normal run, even though you will not be able to see like extremely powerful builds because the normal runs ending too fast, or if you would like to see more wanderer runs, although it will most of the time have that. Um, I would say boring ending of enemies just not being destroyable and defeatable and then like a slow and uh, painful defeat so it's not a defeat i mean it's endless but uh, i i hope everybody's understanding what i'm trying to say here it's either go to normal but never see the overpowered build exploding everything because it's done after 20 stages or go into endless and always have that last five or ten minutes of oh no enemies don't die i'm just waiting for this to end so yeah that's gonna be it though for today, so thanks for watching, and see you guys around.